Yinka Fallady, thank you so much for joining Midas Touch. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me. So Yinka, West Point grad, Army vet, you're running for Secretary of State in Missouri. Um, why'd you decide to run? Voting rights and matters of protecting the ballot initiative in Missouri are at the forefront of uh, voters uh, right now. And, and quite frankly, voting rights is, is the new frontier for the fight for freedom and democracy, not just in Missouri, but all over the, this country. Uh, I've, I've had an opportunity to, uh, I immigrated to the U.S. as a youth, became a citizen, and so I had to earn my right to vote. And as a West Point graduate and as a, a former officer in the U.S. Army, I, I defended the right of, of all Americans to vote, no matter who they wanted to vote for, what they mattered, wanted to vote for. So, so it gives me a unique perspective on the importance of the right to vote. And so voting by mail has become a major topic across this country. A lot of states allow you to vote by mail without any uh, excuse. Um, as I understand it in Missouri, there are still rules in place that require there to be an excuse in the current Secretary of State, Jay Ashcroft, is saying that a pandemic is not an excuse. Um, what are you doing to challenge that and what could, you know, citizens of Missouri do to, to fight back against that and, you know, try to vote in a way that doesn't risk or jeopardize their health? Yeah, I think so many people are seeing uh, right now how important it is to have good, competent leaders of character in state government. As you cite, we have in Missouri a Secretary of State who, uh, even in the midst of a global pandemic, were, were uh, over now, over 60 some 66,000 Americans have been killed by this pandemic, and it's expected to get worse. Uh, hasn't uh, hasn't risen to the mantle of leadership, and he's refusing uh, out, outcries from all corners of the state, from from folks of all stripes, to allow vote by mail. A recent Brennan Center poll cited that nearly four out of five Americans want vote by mail, and we saw what happened in Wisconsin, where people were were standing in line, risking their health and their lives to be able to vote. Uh, we don't think that's that's acceptable. Many, uh, most Americans don't think that's acceptable, and most Americans want vote by mail. We have been pushing on this issue. In fact, we, we were out front on this issue before uh, as early as, as March 11th. We, were, we, we had uh, a, a publication out talking about why the Secretary of State needs to allow vote by mail in Missouri. And so, and just as recently as last week, we published on, on Medium. Uh, an article discussing this and why it's important for, for the Secretary of State to, to allow this. So we've been pushing and we've been joining others who have been pushing for this. Others yeah, like- The former yeah. Chief Justice of the Missouri Supreme Court, um, you know, who put out a political memo that basically says that the provisions that require an excuse that would otherwise be confinement or, you know, or a physical sickness, that a global pandemic one, there shouldn't be an excuse requirement at all. But even if there was an excuse requirement, clearly a global pandemic meets that excuse requirement. But for reasons that are still perplexing to me, you have a secretary of state there who's saying a global pandemic does not meet the excuse requirement for you to vote by mail and you actually have to wait online and he's forcing Missouri citizens to show up. Is there anything that could be done before then, you think? Or as of now, is the secretary of state Ashcroft actually going to force citizens of Missouri to wait on lines like those horrible scenes we've seen in other elections where people hold those signs and say, this is ridiculous. Is, is he going to really force citizens to do that? We certainly hope not. We certainly hope that he will come to a census and reverse course. You're right uh, that former Missouri Chief Justice, Supreme Court Chief, Chief Justice uh, Mike Wolf published a memorandum of law outlining in, in a very detailed matter how current Missouri law supports vote by mail during the, the pandemic we find ourselves in. But as it stands right now, uh, the Secretary of State has not budged and has not come to a census. And if, if we were to vote today, unfortunately, Missourians would have to stand in line and we would, we would once again see the image of people in Wisconsin and in Milwaukee who were standing in line risking their lives. That's how it stands today. And that's a very, very scary prospect. 
So you being a former West Point grad, I'd love your take on, you know, what we're hearing of, of the news reports that, you know, Trump and the administration is going to be forcing West Point grads to come back basically to listen, you know, to the Trump commencement speech. I mean, albeit Trump said yesterday that he was invited by, you know, the generals who wanted him to show, you know, at the end of the day, I think it's a little sleight of hand there as the commander in chief given that West Point's a military institution, by him, in other words, requesting it, you know, seems to, the orders seem to be coming from himself. Um, but what do you make of this? You've been somewhat vocal on, on Twitter about it. And as a West Point grad, how does this make you feel? Well, this is why it's important to have competent leaders of character in our federal government and in the highest office of this land. And we just don't have it to the prospect of endangering the lives of 1,000 future leaders of the United States Army, their communities, their families, the entire West Point community. Uh, a graduation, I remember very, very well. I'm a 1998 graduate of the U.S. Military Academy at West Point. And I remember graduation is, is the high mark. Every guy wants to graduate, it's an awesome experience. But during a pandemic, nobody wants to endanger the lives of all of the people and the resources it would take to put on a graduation at West Point, it is no small feat. In the very, near the very hot spot, the hotbed of this pandemic, near the very epicenter, near New York City. West Point is just uh, 50 miles north of New York City. And those cadets would have to go through airports in New York, in New Jersey, uh, where, where this is the worst in the country. It is, it is mind-boggling that, that he is so vain that he would risk their lives. And this is just one more example why this commander in chief is not fit to be commander in chief and he's not fit to sit in that Oval Office. Inca Faladay, thank you so much for joining us. Well, thank you so much, Ben, for having me. Uh, appreciate the work you're doing and look forward to, to connecting with you again soon.